Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Today's episode of the Mike O'Mara Show is brought to you by our bonus packages. Please go to MikeO'MaraShow.com and click on the bonus banner. You'll get access to all of our bonus content, and even better, you'll be helping out TMOS. So please, quit sucking, and we thank you. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. So I'm dragging today. No, no. Uh, I appreciate all the people that are sending me advice on keto, and I will take more because it's valuable and I'm enjoying it, and uh, it's very, very helpful. It is a relatively small community, so uh, please uh, feel so free So do you think to, the energy level is, is keto-based? Uh, I think that sometimes uh, what I've read about this uh, program is that you know you uh, you have you have an uh, uh, once in a while you'll you'll drag a little bit okay and between yesterday and today it's kind of carried over into today but uh, you know Ike oh I'm sorry I'm there uh, there long night I'm, I'm uh, partying like would you go out what, oh Christmas no, party party not, not like you guys I didn't have a party to go to yesterday so uh, so everything's fine. So the, the, we were going to start with the football picks. By the way, we're going to pick our football picks, which now this is the equivalent of going out and playing a terrible round of golf, and by about 10 holes in, you lose interest. Yeah. So I've officially lost interest now in the, uh, in the football picks simply because I have really, outside of a miracle, I have no chance of catching Am I the guys. only one who thinks Mike can run the table You got to come back and win? You got to believe in miracles, Mike. Yeah, come on, man. It, it's not going Any happen. given Sunday. I'm a realist. First and foremost... I'm a realist. I know many of you might think I'm an idealist, but no, I am a realist. <laughs> and so you may say yes, you're a dreamer, but you're not the only one. Yeah, that's so unnecessary. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, getting back to uh, you know, just but you wanted to say it. I know you did. Uh, anyway, uh, I heard you guys talking about the party, <laughs> and apparently, what I read between the lines is that there is something bloom involved in the uh did glenda come to the party no 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 no, no. no. this right. is uh, uh but this is just about uh, our our man uh, our man Matthew. pony boy blue yeah um and and look before we get to this no this is, is not like a situation where we're going into the it's bloom the room most. to make fun of the man or, or no, no. tease him or hey you don't or, have to no, qualify no, that we no, want to no, pick no, on anybody no, on our no, show no, i can't no, it's I just, my right as a broadcaster to pick us in fact i'll talk up the uh, the most wonderful time right. of the year please, okay? please, please. Just so you know, Oscar, and for what your frame of mind is, yep. la- ladies and gentlemen, let me just Thank say you. this, okay? It is my right as a broadcaster to pick on anybody, and they can pick on me. And if we fight, screw you if you're too sensitive. It's the most wonderful well, well time well of said. the year. Well, uh, Mike, it's your right, um, but today it would be Maddie's right. Yeah, because she was in the thick of it. I was an observer. Oscar saw it probably, or it was described to Oscar. I was in the grassy knoll. After. I was in the grassy knoll. But so well, I kind of saw it. I didn't see it. So yes, take me to the beginning. Yesterday of the story. we had a fantastic potluck dinner. Uh, I wouldn't even call it a party; just a potluck dinner with yeah, our soiree. podcast village uh, staff and a couple of people brought their girlfriends or their wives, mm-hmm. the, uh, and that's about it. Nothing crazy. Any any, uh, any hotties? Of course, Mike. Yeah, but I would be all the PV hotties in, in this. Uh, Marcus me, in was this there. Me, me too. World. Um, everyone is attractive and has right. some qualities. Exactly. That, uh, Just checking. Are, inner are beauty. Are sometimes. Yeah. The yeah. inner beauty as well. Yeah. Uh, Mike, um, Maddie, of all people, who you know, I think of all the all the characters and cast members here on the show, um, ha- picks and chooses when she likes to discuss certain aspects of uh, her coworkers. But she made no bones about it that the exit that Mr. Ponyboy Matt Bloom made yesterday was the most awkward, most right. interesting let exit me, me, she's ever me, had. All right, let me f- uh, focus this a little bit. So you're talking about uh, going to the party, having some adult beverages, having some great food, mm-hmm. uh, and you alluded to the food being fantastic. And, and then during uh, her discussion, Maddie uh, started talking about Matthew. Yes. Well, Matt I, Bloom, I, I otherwise watched, known as Pony Boy. I watched this situation brewing because a Pony loves to be the first one to leave mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. Anything. Were you a premature baby? Because, Probably. Yeah. All right, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to set this up as a listener. This is almost like story time 101. Why don't you, tell, why don't you teach it. us, Mike? We just Well, no, I'm, you know, cuz I'm getting yeah. it from the listener's perspective. So, here's what I, and believe it or not, I react to that when you guys are telling a story right. like this like a listener. So, I want to know what the setup was. We all gathered around a table. Oh, this uh, is a this great question. Lock? Great question. Yes, yeah. So the conference room was turned into what was the banquet table. 
Cool. So, yeah. so, so the conference room is now the banquet table. And it was a buffet style. You'd walk around and then take your plates into the edit, uh, the edit bay, or what we like to call um, bullpen. the bullpen. And everybody sat at their stations right in front of their computers. Kind of right about eight. the same time. Everybody broke bread about the same time. Yeah, six yeah. o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock. A party actually started at six o'clock, Mike. I thought it started at three. Well, see, that's six cool. O'clock. Yeah. See, I like that already. Then it's like a really a dinner party with mm-hmm. everybody sitting there at the table, and which which doesn't happen in America. It doesn't. It, it doesn't. Should. And then we had um, some of the team members or part timers that uh, showed up after their other jobs. Right. Uh, Dahlia came after class. She's in the middle of finals. That was right. kind of take her, take what the three four hours she took out of her day to come hang with the team. She didn't have to cool. do that. Um, and everybody brought something. It was fun. A great festive atmosphere. Holiday anybody music. out of control? No. 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 Mm-hmm. All right. The only, I'm sorry. Th- okay, I'm if, if I'm going to call one person out, and I still don't know, it's the, there's a sidebar investigation happening. Happening even as well, we when we were When we were cleaning up and... Um, it was like these final, like making sure like every, nothing's sticky the next day, everything can go to work. I found a mug, an Oh My Goth mug. That's why I don't know if it's an Oh My Goth <laughs> team member or somebody borrowed one that was filled with buffalo chicken dip. And I still don't know who's, who did it because when I went to pour it out, I thought it might have been some sort of vitamin C drink or sun kissed <laughs> beverage. Yeah, it wasn't pourable. It wasn't pourable. It just glopped out yes. onto the sink. Like, if like, the uh, buffalo chicken dip is not kept warm, say in a crock pot or a steam table, it will solidify. Like Frank's Red Hot or something. Yeah. Like yeah. That, oh, right? yeah. 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 Can even, I say something? Yes. Uh, being married to a woman who is constantly monitoring her appearance, uh, that stuff is uh, is very commonly used as kind of a seasoner because it's not high in calories. Oh. That's, uh, that's what I... Yeah, well, that's, it, was, it was when delicious. When you go to get a wing, it was we delicious. get a, wings at a, at a bar, like mm. in a buffalo bar, mm-hmm. if you get wings, they mix it uh, with like margarine or butter yes. to make it to make it more of a hearty, uh, but the, oh. the stuff and the, itself, and the chicken dip very probably, a lot of vinegar in it. Mike, yeah. the chicken dip itself, not as low cal, even though it features the hot sauce, it also features, I believe, cream cheese, sour cream, and a bag of grated cheese. Yeah, so it's, 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 so, yeah. it is so substantial. Around, I would, and poached chicken. I would say 10 p.m. Uh, everybody left by 9.30. Around 10 yeah, p.m. I mean, that's sedate. If that's all you got that's is all an I Oh My got, Goff mug with some wing sauce in it, you are gold. Don't know what happened. We'll figure that out later. It's a good night. It's yes, a good night. Right. So, so Rob Ford chew with his mouth open? No, no. He was at, Rob Ford was actually very cordial yesterday. Well, he had. there's Kinda, one, one thing I'd like to bring up about Rob Ford. Oh, I must have missed it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want it before or after the pony thing? Because the Rob uh, Ford thing is I brief. don't know. I, I, I you know, I, I, I mean, I'm just uh, the pony thing. Let Maddie. Say, so, we're, so basically, I think Maddie should go first because well, Rob Ford. This can go is to the other story she told at the dinner table. This is the story that she witnessed, and I walked in because after Pony Boy had left the actual Pony Boy has just gotten up from his station. After, I think there's someone at the door. After he he left, everybody started cracking up, and I said, "What just happened?" Yeah. And I should say, let me. There is a preamble okay. that I think I should set up before please, we get to, to Maddie. Pony, as I said earlier, loves to be the first to leave anything, and he has a tell. He gets up and he starts to slowly put on his coat, and he will pack up his bag and he'll pace. He won't take the initiative to oh, say goodbye. No, he yes. will almost go in a figure. As a matter of fact, when we are fruit caking. And the situation is similar. My stepmother, Kathy, who has been with Pony maybe a total of 10 hours total ever, she says to me, Rob, Pony's pacing. That means he's getting ready to ask to leave. You better make him mop now. Because because that's exactly where it's at. And so at one point, Pony is standing Opposite me in you the room. Okay there. Oh you yeah, did you, I was trying did to. You, did you see it on camera? And he what? just stroked out. I was. Uh, <laughs> Pony is standing opposite the length of the room from me, with yeah. his coat on, with his bag, but not doing anything. And I said, "Are you still leaving?" Uh, and I said, "Do you need permission to leave?" He says, "I was talking to Pat." He was not talking to Pat. Pat was seated, yeah. facing away from him in a conversation with someone else. So this is when Pony approaches another group of people, okay. which includes uh, Dahlia mm-hmm. and Maddie and mm-hmm. a few other young ladies. Yes. And I'm watching this go down. And Maddie, this is where you can sort of take over. Well, so Pony gives hugs to everybody. It's all joyous. Big hugs. Love it. And I'm like looking away and all of a sudden I look up and standing in front of me is Pony with just his hand out for a handshake. (laughs) 
As if, like, he just went around giving everybody a hug, but I just get an awkward handshake. So everybody that's there gets a hug, and you didn't get the goodbye hug? No, I, li- I Mike, I look up, and just a hand is in front of my face. Yeah, And, and you know, the it. culture of the, the Mike O'Mara show, when we haven't seen each other, or when we're at a function, uh, we're huggers. We, we are huggers. huggers. Yeah. We hug. Yeah. I, I don't see Rob and Oscar. I don't see him for no. a while. I go, and I, I, come, I go in for it. We all do. It's not, a, it's not an over-the-top hug. Grab the ass kind of hug. No, not a kiss on the neck or, you know, nuzzle kind of hug. In fact, I would describe it as a very, uh, you know, slightly awkward hug when we see each other. Yeah, and it's also kind of like, like, um, we're almost like if we're athletes. A tap, tap. Yeah. Move on. Hug, tap, tap. And also, it's always a hug. And it's it's hard when I hug Oscar because he's frail. And I don't want to hurt him. That is true. But also, I saw the handshake. And it really, if you were at a distance... The body language was if he was handing her a halibut. It was right. just it was just very tentative yeah. I, look, and gentle I, I, and I, I know what you're talking about. And this move is oh, I got it recently and I don't know who I got. Oh, I got it at the doctor's office. Okay. I went in for my annual physical mm-hmm. a couple of days ago and I walk in and there is this wonderful nurse uh, who's a good friend of our family's and great with Michael. She's got a couple of kids on her own. I'm trying to think that she's she's very very attractive. She's mm-hmm. a pretty okay. pretty uh, girl. Knockout. So, uh, boy, I'm trying to think the. Uh, uh, yeah, wait, did, did I just gross you out? No, no he I said did. knockout. I said she's a knockout. No, yeah. I'm trying to think the celebrity she most resembles. What color is her oh, hair? Oh my god. Uh, Let's just say she's hot. She's no. I don't want to say hot because she's just. Well, she's. I don't want to <laughs> go there because she's so nice. She's uh, so nice that I don't perceive it, but mm. she is attractive what enough. What about a where milf? It is. It, You're no, not helping. Not because, she's oh. not because she's not old enough. She's a young. Oh, mom. got it, got it. And uh, oh my god, I would say uh, kind of. And this is. I'm just stabbing here. A little stabbing na- the wrong way. A little, a little Naomi Campbellish. Oh wow, Ooh. very nice. That's. Yeah. A, I mean, but just, but a friendlier uh, Naomi Campbell. But for, just a, yes. no, just a great person. Always been there at this office, and we love her, and she's terrific. And uh, and and so I I extend the hand like I do when a woman is you know better looking than I sure. have any yeah. business hugging, yeah. and I think it's so. And she goes, "Oh, come here." And it was yeah, hug the, it out. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the hugs. Yes, yes. So, but I understand. But the it would have been worse if you had gone in for if a I hug. If I went in for the hug and it was rebuffed. unresponsive, because like, there is a there is a point of no return. Uh, so well, we'll have a little of that in uh, news you may not need. Okay. Th- this today. gets worse. Yes. Because yes. the handshake to a, a colleague that you've been working with for five years. Yeah. And you after sit you, by. after you gave hugs to everyone else turns into That's, see it's more five years doesn't bother me nearly as much. As the hugs to everybody. And Maddie, you had to notice. Can you tell us, uh, was it two people, three people? How many hugs were given by Pony before he got Because he's not done yet. He's not done with this awkwardness. Oh, wait, there's more. Okay. Mm. I would say two or three others. Two or three hugs. Yeah. Yeah. That would bug me, too. Maddie, uh, and if you, uh, so as the goodbyes are happening, people are uh, sitting in almost a semicircle of chairs. You know how it happens at a party. They break off into subgroups. I get it. Yeah. 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 So uh, Maddie's at one end of the circle, and then there are probably three or four more uh, female members of the team Mm -hmm. that um, are he's saying goodbye to. And Maddie, I'll let you take over from here. Well, I think after, because after he extended his hand, all I could do was burst out laughing, like in his face. You so were after, certainly <laughs> cheerful, but this was a different laugh. Yeah. So after that, I think he was too scared to say goodbye to anybody else. So, so Maddie uh, has a great drunk laugh or buzz, buzzed laugh. Yes. Like mm-hmm. you, and 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 this is a, a testament to you because I've never really heard you laugh out loud with like a belly laugh because we're in here and she's in the control room. Right, exactly. But when you hear it. Also, the show's not very funny. You, uh, you, but you, <laughs> very true. When you hear it, you're like, you something's it. happening. <laughs> right. So then Dahlia automatically says, fine, I'll, ta- I'll say it. So Dahlia gets into Dahlia mode, which and is. And she entered in Dahlia, triple Dahlia mode. Yeah, like yeah, right, right yeah. out of middle finals. Let's have some fun. Yeah, she's into it. She's yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's yeah, coming yeah. ready to so play. So Dahlia says, Oscar. You're not going to believe what a robot we work with. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, he, and points a pony boy that just walked out. He oh, said, he came to me and he, he I think he, between this awkward exchange between Maddie and then one of our other team members with, that he tried to side hug, that it was an oh, awkward side guy. hug. He goes, he comes to me, he looks down, and I 
go and hug Pony. So this is so imagine me sitting in the chair and then Rob is standing in front of me and Rob is Pony and I'm Dahlia and I hug and then Pony just goes his ha- keeps his hands like he's uh, uh, Jesus Christ on top of Rio. Yeah, it looks uh, like a crucifix with the body has fallen off the cross. Are we going to be able to hear from the man okay, himself a but, little bit here? So I'm getting a play. Are, by- you, are you ready to kill the bill I'm, already? I'm, I'm getting a play by play by from everyone after he's left on how awkward this man is with the, with this other with the, this this the sex that, that is not his. Yeah, because right. everyone else like the guys are like yeah goodbye goodbye and then it's a side right. hug no hug. Andrew. Bring it in, baby. Yeah. Yes. Come yeah. on. Now, Pony Boy. Was what? Angie at the party? Angie was not at the party. No. Someone just said we just using her mug. Okay. We'll, f- we'll find out who. Yeah. Now, yeah. Pony Boy, your yeah. uh, your rice and the food you brought was genius, fantastic. Pony made a homemade curry that would knock your face in the dirt. It was delicious. Did it have any protein in it? Any protein in yes. it? Oh, yeah. It was chicken. Yeah. Steak. Oh, steak and steak. God. Just fantastic. Chicken, chicken and steak? Yes. No, no chicken. I don't know where no, it is. Oh, chicken. it was a steak a steak curry? Well, then yeah, what was steak. the thing that tasted like chicken? Was it a Uh-oh. potato? Might have been. <laughs> Maybe uh, it wasn't no, as good no, as I, I know. <laughs> Before we move in, I got to know. Rob said chicken. I thought Did there was chicken. Did you just inhale it so much that you didn't even notice it? No. I, I, maybe he cooked it down so much that it lost the uh, character. It was, it, was sk- it was skinny chicken. It was almost like flank steak. What was it? Yeah, it was, it was a steak. It was like a flank steak with uh, with carrots and onions and potatoes all chopped up and, and finely cooked. It, you thought it was chicken. It, it was, <laughs> it was, it was, the yep, cur- I'll cop to it. The curry, the curry covered. <laughs> Do you understand the point I'm making, Oscar? I'm making that the, the spoonfuls were probably inhaled to such a degree that he, did, he, can't, he couldn't identify the freaking protein. Come on now. This man wasn't built in an hour. Look at him. You know, I we're understand. good to go. I, it, All right, Pony, it was so overly was, sauced. Would you like to weigh in on this uh, this awkwardness? Well, you know, the only thing that I would say is with, with Dahlia, Dahlia and I, I have this bit where I drive her crazy and she, she hates me for it. So oh, wait, that wait, wait, was, wait, wait, wait a second. Hold it a bit. You, you just can't make those dramatic Yeah, when did uh, this statement. bit start with you two? Um... I think last week and during the fruit caking, we're all just I'll say it's things. Such a that pony story, isn't it? I think an hour ago. I, love it. I think realize, an hour ago when I made I it up. It. I love it. Do you realize the close proximity of Podcast Village and the even closer proximity of working in a one thousand square foot kitchen? If there's a bit, we're probably going to know about it too. <laughs> probably. So this might be a bit that exists only in your head. If you say the bit is between you two. Then we understand. You realize yeah. that this is sort of the plot of the Joker movie. He has a bit, but he only he knows it's a bit. <laughs> Remember, I'm a friend when you come back in here. we got a security door. Yeah, we're very okay. friendly. We love okay. you. So, right. Pony, you yes. have a bit. What happened with the hug? Great the bit. hug, I, I was jokingly like not being super affectionate to her. That was that was the joke. Okay, now, now, now right. hold on. Okay. Now, see, that makes sense to me. I can see Dahlia saying, you know, come here. <laughs> and then Pony just going, E, don't touch me. <laughs> yeah. See? All right. Okay. Advantage Pony. Okay. I'm with okay. Pony on that one. Uh, what happened with the side hug with Allison? Yeah. Oh, everything else was just awkward. Okay. But yeah, with Dahlia at least wasn't. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, and then with the handshake with Maddie. Oh, the handshake with Maddie was... Basically, not. She was sitting down. I was like right next to her, and I I just didn't want to like loom down and, and awkwardly. Hug. Yeah, like Maddie a, counterpoint. Counterpoint. Uh-oh. Everybody was sitting down this whole time. Yeah, nobody stood, and that's so another he hugged, thing. He hug, Hold on. He hugged people that were sitting down. Yes, that's and that was awkward because people had to get up. When Pony leaves, no one stands. <laughs> <laughs> they just stay. Well, they used to him bowing. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Pony. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is when you respond if Please. you disagree. Well, you know what? I, I don't. Thank you. I don't necessarily disagree, and I don't know how did to you, defend did myself you, did in you, this did situation. You, so I'm not saying that's anything. an honest answer. That's an honest answer. That, he's um, been. Yeah, I yes. believe every word that's come out of his mouth. Did, so far. did you feel the tension after you left? Did you hear the, the uproar of laughter as you're walking down alone? No, but I, I'm certainly embarrassed now Thank and you. not Should planning be. on <laughs> coming to any more. You can come. Events. Just say right. this, no, is like a human. this is This is extremely this is delicate right now. It is. In this day and age. And I probably shouldn't even bring it up. But if Pony felt comfortable enough to, uh, you know, do the little game with Dahlia mm-hmm. and then give a hug to another co-worker yes. of the mm-hmm. female persuasion mm-hmm. without reacting badly and then extended his hand to Maddie, mm-hmm. I would say that might be, uh, uh, well, 
I'll have to ask some more questions. Pound, mm-hmm. please. Yes. Uh, how do you uh, how do you get along with uh, Maddie in the work environment? I think Maddie and I get along pretty well. We we joke a lot and laugh a lot. You have, okay, do, so do you do bits with her? I don't. No. No. Well, okay. Well, bits. maybe someday. No, because I think it's more serious, Rob. I think it's mm. perhaps uh, perhaps the hand was extended uh, simply because he uh, does not want to give any indication whatsoever <laughs> that uh, <laughs> that he might have real feelings for uh, for Madeline. Uh, mm-hmm. In uh, your Joker like now I've made everybody. World, you know why I'm able to do that, Oscar? Yes, because I'm Cause down here, here in Florida. Because <laughs> I'm not here. This is I don't a, even this have is to the look problem at with that lo- This is a problem but. with that logic. Okay. Uh, um, Maddie is, and this is no disrespect to Pony Boy. He's and he, mm-hmm. whoever gets him is going to be a lucky gal. Like Maddie would destroy a man like Pony Boy. Like yeah. she is t- too much of a formidable force. Stop right there. Yes. Can I ask you a question, yes. Oscar Santana? Yes. Do you, and this is even more awkward. That's right fine. Now. Oh, I love it. Do you think perhaps that Pony could look at uh, a guy? Uh, is it uh, what, what's the boyfriend's name? John. John. John, oh, John Pony, what's his could, name? Could eyeball John, especially in like places like Vegas, and say, "Well, if 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 he he's can, got a shot, then if, I've if got, he's a shot. got a shot. I've sure. got a shot. Sure." And Maddie, oh, feel free to jump yeah, in anytime. Oh God. I'm good. Thanks, though. Um, is- so, so, you, <laughs> so you're saying? I'm good. So you're saying that? Um, John, By the way, I'm creating an, an environment today that's it's probably, not hostile. It's not hostile. Uh, nor is it toxic. Hostile. No, it's honestly, fine. Just fine. You're it's saying just that theorizing like just, friends. Theorizing as a friend for entertainment purposes, yes, that John has outkicked his coverage. <laughs> Please, no so wagering. <laughs> if John can outkick his coverage, he clearly, you know, it's got Maddie and John's sure. John. Uh, that pony's like, oh, maybe I can outkick my coverage one day. Yeah, that's because a nice I, way of saying. I, it. I feel like Mac has that same attitude towards Maddie as well. And you know what? Does uh, he? Pony, uh, pony doesn't even have to answer that yeah. theory if his silence. Uh, is acceptable. If he wants to protest, he's welcome to protest. I have a question for Pony. In your Joker-like dream now world. Now you have a question. Uh, this is See, this is an area I like to keep you kind of on the outside looking in, but go don't ahead. Don't ruin this. But I'm monitoring you right now because you don't know how to do this. But go ahead, ask your question, but know that I am watching you, Rob. First of I'm all, thank you for the supportive setup. Okay, um, you're welcome. Pony, in your Joker-like dream world, when you extended mm. your hand to Maddie, we just saw you extending your hand. Mm-hmm. But in your eyes, did it have a ring in it? No. Okay, Why? just checking. Oh, you, <laughs> you ruined go. it again. There, there, you there, ruined there you it just like you go extremes you on the sexuality. You, know what? Uh, you went extreme uh, on Maddie, the sweet. Maddie, uh, as long as he is a respectful co-worker, <laughs> uh, it's, there's no real need to for us to crawl further into his yes, brain. This yes. is, these are just... Theories. Uh, and Maddie, you are not obligated in any way to answer this question, but the theory that I just uh, shouted out to the world just there, do you, could you see in any scenario that it might have a little validity? Well, yeah, who can blame him? There you go. I love her. That's why I love her. And we can start the show and everybody can towel off. Thank you. It's the Michael Mara Show. You can listen to the Michael Mara Show Home at www.michaelmarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. Well, Mrs. Claus, how's your hubby? Well, I'm afraid he's got a pretty bad cold, Snowy. Oh, this. that's a shame, the poor fellow. He should have come to see me. I'd have given him a good one. <laughs> a little chilly humor there. What can I do for you, madam? We need a snowstorm. Well, no sooner said than done, my little icicle. Where do you want it? In a town called Southtown, USA. What? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it! No can do, Mrs. C. The South is under the control of my stepbrother, Heat Miser. And every time I try to send a little refreshing snow down there, what does he do? He turns it into rain, a fog. And who needs that? Well, if I get his okay, will you make it snow? Sure thing. But don't get your hopes up. You'll never get anywhere with that one. We'll have to try. Well, 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 if it isn't Mrs. Claus. Where's your husband? Out doing another commercial for my brother? Oh, come now. You know Santa isn't on your brother's payroll. Well, then he's grossly unfair, that's what. 
traipsing around in that stupid sleigh of his, stirring up cold winter breezes and causing everybody to think fondly of snowball fights and sleigh rides and <laughs> ice hockey. I assure you, it's not intentional. Well, why doesn't he wear a bathing suit and drive a sand buggy? But we live at the North Pole. And he could sing the praises of heat and rain. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, will you do us a favor? I don't see why I should. Nobody ever does anything for me. But what is it? Could you let it snow just for one day in the South? What? Snow in the South? Just for one day. Never! It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. And now, from his easy chair, here's Mike. Uh, you play that every year, and I have no idea uh, what that is. What it, that what is from A Year now? Without a Santa Claus, and uh, she's talking to the heat miser and the cold miser who control the weather. And uh, I just like it because the heat miser is, is so... Very, very evocative in his like personality. Mm. Hello, mm. Santa. <laughs> Drive a sand buggy. <laughs> What's the name of that show again? A Year Without a Santa Claus. Michael would love it. <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, it's a right. Rankin Bass one, it. like an animated one. Okay. All right. Very Santa good. takes uh, the year have... off. It's crazy. <laughs> you love the voices. And that old lady is uh, special. Too, Shirley right? Booth. You know her as Hazel. Sure. Oh, it's Shirley Booth. Yeah, of course. Uh, live from the Podcast Village Studios. Uh, from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. This is the Mike O'Mara Show. Heard all over from New Brunswick, New Jersey, to Miami, Florida, to Elk Grove, California, Coos Bay, Oregon, Bedford, New York, and Kong, Ireland. Kong! Kong! Uh, the Zabba Mike O'Mara Kong. Show is on now, brought to you by Hims. Uh, here's a fact. 60% of men, and by the way, let me know if I'm doing the right spots here, because I are. have this feeling that I messed it up. No, you uh, ran through them. The, You're uh, right. You're our right first today. sponsor in the first segment is Hims. Yes, sir. Here's a fact. 66% of men start losing their hair by 35. Yes, that's right, Shirley. Uh, listen up, everybody. You are not safe from baldness. Right. Oh, no. Ever. It's 2019. Medicine and science can help you do something about it this year. Secure the best deal of all, a healthier, thicker hairline. Uh, Hims helps guys be the best version of themselves with FDA-approved products. The best part? There are no awkward in-person doctor's visits. Answer a few quick questions online, and a licensed physician will review and determine if a prescription is right for you. I highly recommend you check out Hims before it's too late. Right now, our listeners get started with the Hims Complete Hair Care Kit. Uh, it's not hair care. It's hair kit. Hair kit. Okay. Every time. The Hims Complete Hair Kit. It re- uh, for just five dollars while supplies last, Such a go to fourhims.com slash tmos. That's fourhims.com slash tmos. Prescriptions are subject to doctor's approval and require online consultation with a physician who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. See website for full details and safety information. And we thank you, lady. And Mike, and I gentlemen. misspoke. It's not the cold miser; it's the snow miser. Ah, that they want to get his character right. Yeah, miser. heat miser, right. snow miser. Those yeah, are the miser right. brothers. They're actually, I believe, step brothers as the plot mm, goes. Mm, mm, now, mm, now, because this was not, uh, at least uh, when I was growing up, this was not something that was common in uh, my home. I did not watch this. I, I think it posted Frosty, you. Rudolph. Uh, I think it's it was later on. Seventy four. I think is the date on it. And uh, the plot is is Santa's just pissed and he's taking a year off. And this really bothers Mrs. Claus. So she gets involved. Also, uh, there is a kid in, I believe it is uh, Olivia. He lives in he lives in the <laughs> South. No. And La he's pop. and he La is pop. doubting the very existence of Santa Claus. So ah. Santa Claus goes undercover. He flies on a reindeer who gets sick because it's hot. <laughs> There's so much stuff packed into 48 minutes. You'll love it. Speaking right. of holiday yeah. movies, yeah. Disney Plus has the miracle on 34th Street you were talking about. Yes, the black and white one. Yes. Uh, a listener was kind of to post about it and say, hey, if you're looking for this, here it is. That's nice. Wasn't it about a year ago that you were going to talk about uh, Disney Plus? And yes. you were going to 
review it yeah. for us. And, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about streaming today anyway, but uh, we were going to do that a long time ago. You got it for, uh, I got it for where the did kids. you get it when you were down kids. at your, 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 well, now, uh, your... we had Thanksgiving on, um, we oh, had your mom's house. Yeah, we had Thanksgiving at my parents and my, uh, brother and sister were kind of to splurge for, uh, or really my brother for a cartoon sized television to put into their den. Yes. And there at the bottom, uh, because they still had the, the, uh, 27 inch tube, right? They, 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 they had a nice TV. Like, they literally had a nice one. Um, I think it might have been like 55 inches. My brother said, let's get this 75-incher. And I said, hey, man, uh, things aren't as great as they should be these days. So by let's, I mean I say I, but I'll include all of you guys. And he's like. So so they they got a 75-inch television yeah. in their crest, living room? When you crest 70, that's business, man. That's, yeah, baby. That's a page turner right and there. And there's that's nothing exciting. better than. Um, my brother-in-law, my brother, and I, all as the ladies are in the kitchen looking into the den in Olney, saying, that's not going to fit. That's not going to fit. It's too big. Why would you do that? How come you got that? Why did it happen? And they're all, except my mom, who's quietly sipping her tea, and I know that she's hopeful she can watch her her stories in that big screen. She likes it, and right? She, yeah, can, sure. she can actually be in the dining room, which is multiple feet away, and still watch TV. With Think how big Don Francisco would be. Huge. What's Almost, that? Don Francisco would be like life size. Sabalo Gigante would yes. be huge if it was still on, by the way. <laughs> Who is the relative that's doing the most protesting while this is My going on? sister is doing the most protesting. Saying, how could we? Why would we? How? And I sat, and I went and went to her. Doesn't like TV, right? Doesn't, not, she's not a TV person, uh, right? She's, they don't. Sound like she, Riley. She's not a TV person. <laughs> hey, she's not a TV person. He's uh, not. <laughs> She thought that Tatiana, li- 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 listen, uh, yes, look, the guys, the guys want to watch the big screen, seventy-five inches, and uh, look, you're, you're out there reading a medical journal, and you don't want to put the TV in. I understand. You know? Meanwhile, her brother, uh, her, her husband, <laughs> and her brother are both her. doctors. Yes. You've got right. your DJ brother yeah. who mm-hmm. is helping put this up, and right. and we're teaching little Luca, who's now thirteen years old, how oh, to be yeah. a man and actually do stuff while the men are working. Right. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Help tools, out, help tools, out with those, uh, tools. Yeah, tell me, tools uh, Luke, are. Uh, help out with those cables. Yeah, yeah. yeah put yeah. it in there. And Thank you, Teal Bill O'Reilly. I don't care how small the house is. The biggest TV you can fit in it. So, if it can get through the door, that's really yeah. the only thing. So, Amen. Mike, there are built-ins at the at the end of my parents' den, and in the middle, like shelves. There's shelves, and in the middle is where her current TV was. And my sister ah. was protesting that it was going to butt out and not fit and cover the shelves to the left and right. Yeah. Well, can I speak to your sister yes. for a second? Yes. Okay. The built-ins were built. Uh, in the Revolutionary War yeah. era, okay? So it's a question of being married to your plywood or being... Ma- I, I, not that I've had, Oscar, not that I have experience with this argument. Are you married to your plywood or are you married to modern technology? All right? You know, and as far as I'm concerned, hiding the perfectly measured shelf for the 36-inch television is not a priority. Getting 75 inches of giant screen fun is. Yeah. When you're looking at a 75-inch screen, no one's going to be looking at your books. No one cares about <laughs> no the world. No one cares about the way, your they still have the World Book Encyclopedia on one of those shelves. Well, I don't see any way any kind of unless it was a it's not a big enough so, house. But there's but, no way a 75 inch TV would fit in that little they're space. They're yelling about it now because we're we're all she's having this meltdown that it's about clearly about something else and nothing about us. <laughs> what and, was, what was your counterpoint cuz the TV didn't could not possibly have fit well, in no, the space. Well, no, we're fitting there. between two sh- two rows of shelves. Two We're, rows of shelves. Two shelf. rows of shelves to the left it's and right. It's not like it's got it's one go, of those cabinets go, that's a cutout. It's, no, it's going in right in the middle above the fireplace. That's all it's doing. Right. And my sister says, it's not going to look right. It's going to be off. I said, Tatiana, what, what, like, what in God's name do you, do you, why do you hate this process? We're not asking you to lift, pay, you. order, yeah, so do you. anything. You're sitting there eating uh, mom's uh, Pillsbury Doughboy guys instead of the little <laughs> bread she makes, and we're doing all the work. And yes, the box is big, but the TV inside's smaller. So you're yelling about it before you even see the television, and, and the we believe it's going to fit. Yes. And if it doesn't fit, you know, right back to Walmart. Who cares? We'll yeah. move. We'll figure it out. I feel that her position is selfish. I'm, gi- I'm giving <laughs> her. Too. I'm, I'm giving her the options. Yeah. I'm saying we'll, we'll send it back if it's that bad. Right. Now, between all the guys, we're like, we're going to show her. We're going to figure this out. Right. So, Well, and the guys love men. I'm sorry. And this is not, I don't want to make a blanket stereotype, but I will. 
Men love television. Yes, of course. We love our also, big television. The upgrade goes, the 75 goes into my parents' den, and then the 55 goes into my mom's bedroom, which has a little 32 inch television. We want to upgrade God, her television. Oh, television. God, that's fantastic right? for her. And she likes your stories. She loves and her she stories. Likes the yes. Right? So I was like, hey, I'm with this, you. Uh, this, that was my retort to my sister. I said, mom's getting upgraded upstairs. This is good for everybody. Everybody good. benefits. So. Yep. We 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 pick it up, we put it on what it's a Sanus S S A N U S. It's on uh, Walmart.com mount. I remember buying this mount years ago with my brother for the original TV. We liked it because it came out, pivoted, articulated, did everything. All you do is it's like a Sanus uh, Walmart. You got to click Walmart. it on. Yes, this thing's four hundred bucks. Uh, four five years ago it was almost as much as you paid for yeah, the TV. Uh, five, like five years ago it was probably like eight hundred dollars. We were scared. You confident the TV is going to fit on this thing? It's up to ninety inches when we bought it. The box. Okay. My parents. My mom keeps every box. The box says it. Did, and, and you the bought bracket. it. Did you buy, hold on. Did you buy it? I uh, know we bought it as a family years did ago. You, were you the number one consultant on the wall mount? I did. Uh, yes, there? I was. So yeah. I remember. Yeah, you know I what, remember. That, you know what I, I call that? Yes. Forward thinking. Yes. At a boy, and the bracket's right. fairly standard. Standard. Okay. Standard. But it pops. It pulls out. Has an arm. You can go left and right. It's a solid mount. All right. So when the TV arrives, the box is massive. We had to go in through the front door, not the garage, because there wasn't enough room to pivot it around. There's a lot of stuff in the There's garage. A lot, lot going on. We take it out of the box, and I said, guys. Let's not even measure. Let's just pick it up like real men and see if it fits. And then if it doesn't, it doesn't. Back in the box. And then they looked at it because they're doctors. They're not like that. They're they, not like they, they no, hate no, doing no, that, no, no. Right? And, and little Luke is like, here's the measuring tape. And I grab the measuring tape and I throw it on the ground. <laughs> oh, and I God. Said, I said, we don't have time for this, Luca. There's a window of time while they're distracted. That we got to see if this works. This yeah. is why you're a DJ. It's probably. This is the way we probably, think as probably, DJs. Probably. So. Heavy TV. The three of us are in it. Luke is there just in case. I don't know what he was trying to do, but he had the tool in his hand. I said, we don't need tools. We need eyeballs. So he's got to look under to click it on. Right. We click it on, and it's outside of what the gap you have to place sure. it in. So it's right. outside. It's holding. It's tight. No one believed it would. I said it would. It did. So it's fully. It's not fully necessarily fully extended, but it's extended. It's extended and outside it, of it where it, it's it would nest. Well, it's, it's a flat screen, so it's not going to be all that bulky in weight. I mean, yes. weight itself, So, but you still haven't pushed it back. Haven't pushed it to, back. To, to, yes. push for, it the, back. for the viewing. This and, is exciting. And like... And I, I could feel the tension, with, especially my my brother, who's very calculated. He's very conservative. He said this is going to go sideways. Like in his mind, he's like, mm. and then Jose my, wanted to use the tape measure. Of course. And then Costa was just happy to do something other than deal with my wife, my my sister, who, uh -huh. I, who, I, who I love, and I, he's a nice guy. But I could tell. Let's just let's prove her wrong. He was rooting inside. He couldn't say it, but he, he was being say, quiet about. Yeah, it. he was quiet, yeah. but I, he was rooting inside to prove her wrong. So. We slide the TV all the way back, and we feel some uh, pushback, some resistance. And I, and I is Luca behind it? No, no. Okay. No, Luca's, Luca's on the couch, finally figuring out. Be like, I can't wait to figure out how the deal is going to get No, no, no. no. We, uh, we, so there's resistance to the pushing. Oh. He doesn't look like Gene Wilder and Young Frank. <laughs> no, no, he does like not. He does Listen not. Listen to me very carefully. <laughs> and, Open the door. <laughs> what? Yes. I, the, like and then so as soon as the resistance happens, my wonderful sister who who loves to root and the, is the oldest. By the way, can I ask? Yes, has the warhead hit Washington D.C. today? I've, we've, uh, had this, we've never had this many so, sirens. So what is just going to give on? you right, uh, some, a yeah. quick sidebar, and I'm not going to give any trade secrets away. There is another exit to a big uh, political facility that's right next to us. Like yes. there are two new exits to that facility yeah, around right. this area that now are being used on a regular basis. And also we have all those really? secret Russian buildings up the street. Yes. So we have to watch so out for that. So you see motorcades left and right. All the time. Um, now, what I, so we, we, we push the TV. Resistance happens. And my sister, who's pretending like she's not paying attention. But I she's gave her, locked I gave her the in. Old hairy eyeball. Yeah, she's, she's, she's just like, waiting. See? See? I said, hold on a second. Now, when she says that in your household, is it like us saying yes, yes? <laughs> she would have been. That's pretty funny. That is funny. She was saying, uh, but she was saying it in English because she speaks English. Thank you. Wow, that's great. Thank, Thank you. you. C C C <laughs> as like in S E E Rob. Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah, see, yeah, I told yeah, you yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vision. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I said, hold on, everybody, relax. I think there's a kink in the cable. Uh -huh. Bingo. Let's Bingo, look. baby. It's yeah. the cable. It's because it's springy, right? Yes. So I yeah. look back there. I said, you yeah. guys, just 
you know, hold it while well, it's being supported by the arms, just in case. Support the TV. I'm going to get back there. So I like slink back. I see the cable, and it is kinked. I yes. move it. I say, now slowly push the arm back to get it flush with uh, the wall, and it goes. And I'm telling you, we had less than a millimeter on each side. Slides right in. Oh. in the, so it doesn't block any shelving? doesn't block anything. Oh, that's awesome. You got to love it. it. And, and in turn, looks absolutely 1,000% like, customized. Like I was an interior decorator. <laughs> Why does Fantastic. this make me so happy? So because great. Because I live it. I live, so great. I live this world, televisions yes. and mounting televisions, and I'm about to have the battle again. Yep. Uh, and uh, and I, I just know. I'm not a big wall-mounted guy. I like I like to buy a piece of furniture and put the giant TV on top of it for two reasons. The one they put in my bedroom, I can't get at. Okay? Right. I can't pull it out. It's one of those little... Like uh, flush mounts. Yeah, it's a flush yeah, mount. Yeah, no, you got to get the one that like, pulls out. Stand it. Pulls out. I can't stand it. And then the one I have out, I can I can do my my wireless headphones don't work on the uh, TV in the bedroom. Okay, that's that's my. Uh, I have a few points. Uh, I guess counterpoints to your options uh, for flush mount and most of safety, just because kids pull on it and the TV can fall over. So mm -hmm. when you I mount understand. it to the wall, it's or, or at least anchor it. That's what I. Uh, yeah, it's, it's safer. Say. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a you know it's a it's a whole different thing. But when it's you, not like the old you, days when, you, when you, a TV weighed four hundred pounds. When you pounds. have a full family around, you can do things like this. Yes. So now right. the room looks beautiful. It looks better than it did Triumph. before. It's a triumph. Triumph. Oh, great. triumph. That is wonderful. And, I my, love and that. God bless my nephew, who's not at, hey, I can't wait to watch porn on this thing stage in his life right now. He's still <laughs> like, hey, do they have Disney Plus on that TV? Full circle. I you see. I was like, that little LG menu says Disney Plus. You got it, kid. Let's do this. We're going to watch the Mandalorian uh, saddle up on this cartoon size TV that no one wanted on that side of the room, but we want it here. It's so great. I You're watching Mandalorian, and Baby Yoda is bigger than regular Yoda. Just fantastic. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. That love is it. a very, very yes. good end of the story. I love the success. Don't measure. Kink, Just do a, it. That's right. A kink in the cable. That's uh, every what it time. Was. Every fantastic. time. Fantastic. Oh, 75 inches. It's all I'll be thinking about all day. That sounds yeah. dirty, but it's all I'm no, be thinking fine. about Mike, all day I think today. it was like 750 bucks or something. Yeah, the prices are insanely low now. Really? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I want to leave now. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's continue. Should we do and Nicholas when we come back? <laughs> What's that? Should we do Nicholas when we come back? Say yes. Nicholas. Football, football picks with Nikki Diamond when we come back, and I have not prepared. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We're going to play a game. <laughs> I need to know why you don't subscribe to the bonus show. Too expensive? Wrong. It only costs pennies a day. Less than your daily latte. Bore on the floor. It's like the regular show? Wrong. It's 60 uninterrupted minutes without commercials and without censorship. So you'll hear words like shit, fuck, sucker, asshole, and piss used as a verb. Bore on the floor, and you'll stay on the floor, my little piggy, until you go to MikeOmerishow.com and subscribe to the TMOS bonus show. Support the boys, and oink, little piggies, <laughs> grunt for me. Oink, 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 piggies. Now f*** off and call my helicopter. Thank you very much, Brian Cox, star of succession. <laughs> explaining that so that you understand. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Quip. The holiday shopping season is here, and this year's gift can start next year's good habits with Quip. Quip is sure to put a smile on everyone's mouth because it's dental care they'll actually want to use every day. I love Quip. The best. Quip is the perfect, thoughtful, and practical gift with an electric toothbrush, refillable floss, and toothpaste, all designed to make good habits simple. The Quip electric toothbrush has sensitive sonic vibrations and a timer with a 30-second pulse. I'm sorry, I should say 30-second pulses yes. to guide your routine. And the Quip Floss Dispenser has pre-marked strings so you always use the right amount. Plus, Quip delivers brush heads, floss, and toothpaste refills every three months automatically. Join over 3 million happy customers and check everyone off your gift list right now. Hold it. What? Dental care is important to me. When should I do it? Yes. Okay. Quip. Uh, just go to getquip.com slash TMOS to save on gift sets and to get your first refill free with a refill plan. That's your first refill free at getquip.com slash TMOS. That's getquip.com slash TMOS. It'll make you smile. Ah, yes, 
tell you what doesn't make me smile. What's that? These NFL picks now. I have totally lost interest. I do not Mike, care for You see, this is the time you need to focus Mike, and refocus. This is hope. This is hope time. I don't know what to do this week. Maddie Massiello is here. She's ready to mm-hmm. break things down for us. Right. Hello, Madam Commissioner. Uh, have you uh, recovered from that opening segment today? I have. Pony still hasn't looked me in the eye, though. So. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> not going to happen, he says. Oh, you get lost uh, in those eyes. Do we have Nicholas on the line? Uh, Nicholas A. Diamond? Yes. yes. Hello, hello. Uh, Pony Pony is not known for the eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> well, even Nikki's ripping on me. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's dive in, and then we are going to get to Mr. Diamond, uh, who is the professional from Pahrump, Nevada, yes. uh, America's favorite handicapper. Uh, let's uh, lay it on now. And uh, the record, Matty Masiello, uh, Oscar and Rob are very close, correct? Very close. Rob is up by one at 131 and 73. Mm. Oh, it's alone wow. at the top, Mike. Mm. It's lonely at the top. Mm-mm-mm. And Oscar mm. just at 130 and 74. Yep. Mike, you, you have 107 and 97. Are we taking this to the... What were the rules? We're taking it to the Super Bowl? Oh, yeah. Okay. All the way. All the way. All the way. And then the Super Bowl will be a a point spread bet. All or nothing. No, I'm sorry. That's my (laughs) dream scenario. Are you Uh, sure we aren't just doing the 17 weeks? I'm just asking. I I think it was... No, I think we were going going to the Super Bowl, Rob. And you have to pick the Pro Bowl as well, right? Next year's Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl. Listen to him. There oh, he he's is. He's already counting the money. There he's he is. Already he's counting, counting his money. dollars. Oh, God. This I love you guys. This is where you so lose. Bad. Yeah, this is yeah, where you lose. You, go. you got confidence. This is where cocky. You, yeah, you, that's why you yep. get you're cocky. This is what people root against you. Like you said, uh, we're 17 games. There you go. I mean, you know, just own it, man. Own it, baby. Own it. It would be very own. nice to win, but I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. I thought it was originally just the 17 weeks. But the commissioner would know. Let's just go to the Super Bowl. All right. She makes the choice. Let's do it. All right. Why not? So, but but will the, hold on. Will the Super Bowl? We have to decide this now. Will the Super Bowl be weighted uh, at all based oh, on? Because if it's just it another me. game, you know, I like to. Well, gamble. for example, if you've got a two, if you've got a two-game lead at the end of the season okay. over yeah. over Rob, yes, and it goes to the Super Bowl, and uh, and it's just one game, then it's irrelevant, and the Super Bowl is completely. Okay, let's irrelevant. okay, let's say let's give it this. If there's a five-game spread, no. If there's a five game no, lead, no. then if, if we can find you're, already, way, you're both conjuring up. already. We can five exit. <laughs> because we're never going to well, pick the minute, playoffs. You're tied with Oscar. So I you're mean, he's not, why would he conjure? Yeah, but, but you're, you're he's, laying. He's hurting himself if he's hurting anybody. He's not, this is not a game. Or am you. I adding you're more? You're assuming you're going to win. Am I adding more value to the show by giving the Super Bowl a little more gravitas? No, you're not yeah, doing well. that. You're trying to extend the season, and it's already not what we agreed on. Well, you know what? Which was 17 The weeks. commissioner is. Is the final say? What do you say? Uh, so, so you know, is there is there any kind of uh, all right? Let's say it is the seventeen week. Okay. Is there any sort of tiebreaker if you guys? End if up there tied? was a tiebreaker, it was established that we would split the money of the opponent. I don't know if that was true. That's I don't, true. I've never, I, don't I don't remember. remember that. I don't remember talking about that. What was said? I don't think that's what was said. I think you're just saying that because that's what you want. <laughs> Why, what else would you suggest then? I actually think that we should fight to the death. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, Matty, uh, is there call, anything call. Rob? Is there anything Rob has said that you uh, dispute, or do you think this is all the the way we kind of discussed? I I really don't remember how we originally discussed, but maybe let's just do the 17 weeks as is, mm-hmm. and then playoffs and the Super Bowl can be something totally different and new. Well, see, there's okay. a problem with that because wow. because because the money that's already in commission. This is respectfully re- okay. a rebuttal. How much uh, am I going to have to come up with, by the way? Eight hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. God, no. Eight fifty. I'm sorry. Eight fifty. Eight fifty. Eight fifty. Oh, so wait, this is uh, real money for him. Oh, now yeah. I know why he's into it. It's life changing money. It's 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 a big it's, it's a big deal. money for everybody. It's a big deal. Yeah, well, not for me. Not for me. <laughs> Zed Bagel Zero. It's a big right, deal. I, I'm making an editorial decision. Yes. It will be the original rule of the 17 weeks. Uh, you two split. If it's a tie, you two split. Oh, That's but the, the Super Bowl would have been awesome. We, If we decide to do a Super Bowl bet, it's not until can February. Be a, yeah, can we be can be a part. Do okay. All right. Yeah, we can do a Super Bowl bet right. that's not maybe right. as uh, severe. So, but, uh, so what there. week are we in now? This is week 15. Okay, so two more yeah. weeks. So I am summarily Free. fucked. That's what it is. Uh, why, right. why am I even here? All right. 
Uh, go ahead, Maddie. We right. got Nikki there, This too. week, we have Jets at Ravens. Three, two, one. Ravens. Ravens. Patriots at Bengals. Three, two, one. Patriots. Buccaneers at Lions. Three, two, one. Lions. Buccaneers. Lions. Oh. Mm. Texans at Titans. Three, oh. two, one. Titans. Oh, God. T- Texans. Titans. Titans. All right. Broncos so at Chiefs. Three, two, one. Chiefs. Chiefs. Dolphins at Giants. Three, two, one. Giants. Dolphins. Eagles at Redskins. Three, two, one. Redskins. Eagles. <laughs> Eagles. Seahawks. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you being a homer for the Redskins? Is that what you're doing? You're no, in the hunt here, pal. I'm trying to catch him. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Yeah. I, I got to tell you, the Eagles are like uh, in the, the hunt for the playoffs. So. Yeah, but the entire yeah. uh, division is terrible. Anything can happen. Right. And it's a home game. You know what? It's not that the point spread is not that big, I don't think. Listen to him. Listen to, listen to the man who just picked the You know the what? Eagles. Never mind. I'm Try going to Eagles. To... <laughs> there Eagles. you go. Good move. Good move. There you go. Seahawks at Panthers. Three, two, one. Seahawks. Seahawks. Don't care. <laughs> Seahawks. <laughs> I picks the tie. Bears at Packers. Three, two, one. Packers. Vikings at Chargers. Three, two, one. Vikings. Chargers. Jaguars at Raiders. Three, two, one. Jags. Raiders. Raiders. Browns at Cardinals. Three, two, one. Cardinals. Cardinals. Browns. Ooh, this next one's a big boy. Rams yes. at Cowboys. Three, two, one. Cowboys. Rams. Rams. Falcons at 49ers. 3, 2, 1. 49ers. 49ers. Bills at Steelers. 3, 2, 1. Steelers. Steelers. Oh! Sorry, I'm with Bills. Dude. Bills. And Colts at Saints. 3, 2, 1. Saints. Saints. Keep picking the Saints. Hope they don't Woo! bite me in the ass Back. again. Woo! Doesn't matter. Does it matter? Uh, thank you, Maddie. Those are our thank picks. You. And now, without further ado, the man who really knows what he's doing, yes. Nikki, mm. uh, straighten this all out for us, my friend. Uh, this is a high drama here, the Mike O'Mara show. I got to <laughs> yes. say, uh, yes, it is. I kind of, I kind of lead Spurlock in this week's picks. I think uh, Bermuda boy, you, you're trying too hard to catch up. Let it come naturally, my friend. You know, <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, I might have to agree with him. All yeah, right, all right, agree. all right. Yes. I'm excited. I'm uh, about to hop on a bus to head down to Florida. Going to be working with uh, uh, the Microsoft, uh, Todd Moore, TM Soft, the Microsoft. Yeah. Going to be doing, uh, working on my In the No uh, Fantasy Football Betting app. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Look at that. That's, this is fantastic. fantastic. Congratulations. So you're, you're headed to his new house? This is huge. This is yes, great. Yeah, going to be wintering in the Keys, working for <laughs> the Microsoft, TMSoft. I believe it's the Microsoft. I didn't yes, know. I had no idea that you would be not only <laughs> working with Todd Moore and Nikki, but that you would be living in his house the for the uh, winter. Is he aware? I know you have, uh, in the past, Nikki, you have had issues uh, with this type of situation. Please tell me that Todd is aware that you are driving uh, down to the Florida Keys to stay at his home. I, I, he's aware that I will be in the area, and uh, he said, uh, let's have lunch. And, you know, uh, I might have uh, inferred... Uh, there's a room for me. Anyway, we'll cross okay. that bridge when we get to it, Mike. There's a beautiful Thank bridge you. on the way to the Keys. And I sure. Don't know, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, you'll be crossing a lot of them, Nikki. Yeah, yes, good luck yes, cashing yes. in that implication. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have an implication casher renter. That's very <laughs> going, going away now. Uh, uh, week 15, we're woo! getting here to the to the end. I got the, your sleeper, Carrie. You snooze. You win, baby. Debo Samuel, rookie wide receiver for the Niners. Coming to his own, I predict his best game of his career versus the sorry Falcons. 100 yards and a touchdown. You snooze, you win, Mm. baby. Mm. And the Merle. It's a sure thing if you're in Vegas, if you're in New Orleans, if you're at the State Theater. The Merle's always a sure thing, baby. (laughs) We're going to go with the Minnesota Vikings going out to L.A. The Chargers got no home field. The Vikings played for the division. They're going to give two and a half points. They're going to win easily by 10, the Vikings. And your diamond pick of the week, the hottest quarterback 
in the league. He's not named Lamar Jackson. His name is Ryan Tannehill. He's going to light up those starring backpacks. Key himself, the Microsoft. I'm coming to you, baby. Let's Thank make you. the money, God. Catch it in. My God, he's going to have an annual. Oh, Thank you, Nicky. Thank, Thank you, Thank you Nick. Hit the music. we got to take a break. Thank you very much. Those are our picks for this week. You are enlightened when it comes to the NFL. And uh, the real death match between Oscar and Rob. And, uh, neck and neck after 15 man, weeks. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll take a break and come back with more fun on the Mike O'Mara Show. <laughs> No, it's Dan the Fan Man, back with the best prices at the Dan the Fan Man Fan Porium. At our numerous locations in Fan Asses, Washington Fan DC, and Fan Ganistan. Fans so great, you'll be dancing the Dan the Fan Man Can Can. And don't worry, if you require a fan for the tropics, I speak Spanish. Si, por favor, compre una exhibición de bonas para que pueda dejar de hacer estos promo para el hombre Blanco. <laughs> Remember, if you need a fan, I'm your man. Unfortunately, the Mike O'Mara bonus show is only available in English, but it's always available at MikeOmeraShow.com. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show brought to you by Sleep Number. The holiday season is here. How do you thrive during the holiday season? How do you balance sleep, holiday planning, and making time to purchase the perfect holiday gift for the special people in your life? Well, may I recommend yes. the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. It helps everyone get the proven quality sleep that will change their life. Sleep Number beds allow you to adjust on each side to your ideal firmness, comfort, and support. Uh, it's the perfect <laughs> bed for couples. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed senses your movements and automatically adjusts to keep you sleeping comfortably through the night. And with Sleep IQ technology inside the bed, it tracks how you're sleeping and gives you personalized insights for your best possible sleep. My sleep number setting is a 90. That is the truth. I tweaked it last night. I was playing with it. Carla's like, I'm tired. What are you doing? I said, I'm getting my uh, my sleep number bed. Sometimes I, you know, I let it down to the zero one, you mm. know, and then I move it all the way back up to the Ooh. 90. And, uh, you know, I You're like, that easy, baby. I'm getting my sleep on. Yeah, and I'm big enough where, you know, when I go low enough with my sleep number, I feel my butt touching the, you know, the platform and then <laughs> put the 90 up there and bingo, <laughs> slept like a bambino. Hey, uh, Carla's is a uh, 65, whatever. And we love it. Uh, make spirits bright this holiday with gifts for quality sleep. Uh, the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed adjusts on each side to give all a good night. From $9.99, it's only available at Sleep Number stores or at sleepnumber.com slash TMOS. And when you go, please tell them uh, that Mike O'Mara sent you. We would truly, truly appreciate that. Only got a couple of minutes yes. here for my uh, son's Christmas pageant. Uh, last night. It wasn't a pageant. It was a concert. They sang songs. Like That's a chorus concert? It was uh, was yeah, there a piano all, player? They, piano player and a guitar player, the uh, music teacher, oh, how nice. who came out with a Santa Claus mask, and it was cute, and it was adorable, and they had uh, risers up on stage, mm. and they had one, two, three, I think they had four kindergarten classes that were up on the risers, and uh, let me see, outside of the, uh, th th there was something, I can't, I can't 100% definitively identify that it was the family sitting in front of us, but there was a rather large man who was old. And I, I got I got stink funk oh dear. for the entire oh, no. concert. It was a combination of ass and feet, and I I'm almost certain it was this dude, but I don't know. Uh, you know, and it just was. I was so annoyed. Obviously, and the, ass is the worst, but when they complimented with feet, that's it's just bad. it was nasty, and there yeah, was a lot of itching, feet, and, ass and feet, and scratching behind the ear during the show. It was just like, and I have no idea whether I'm right or not. But uh, did, he out of the moment. did he, he have a beard? Did. did he have an unkempt beard? No, no. Good. It, well, but at least there's that. But he had scabs on his head. Oh, you know, no. Dude. That's always oh, the, okay. you know, the tell that you're not preparing or caring. Preparing? Or, okay. You know. <laughs> really? you got to prepare down here. I you know. should have told Dick Van Patten that. Dick Van Patten, God rest his soul, was another scab yeah, head. You head. put lotion, sunscreen on your dome. When you go out there, you get scabs on it because it burns the skin off the top of your head. Oh, Oscar, it's the same thing. If you're not doing that, then you're not wiping your butt properly, and you're probably not oh. wearing socks. Ew. Dick Van Patten looked like he had Swedish fish on his mm. head. It was I've not never good. been more annoyed at that. You know, I just was... 
uh, you know, and I, by the way, I'd come from the golf course, but I'd taken a very thorough shower, and I was, uh, I thank you, and I smelled ducky. Thank you very much. Fresh as a daisy. Uh, you know, and it just, I, I'm very, in my old age, I'm getting a little sensitive to that, and I just don't like people. It's that, disrespect it, it, is what it is. It's just, it's like, what is that? I'm looking over at Carl. I said, Carl, do you smell? I said, yeah. And Carly kind of like points. I'm like. Yeah, I think you're right. And it was just, it, it, it did. It took me out of the moment. Yeah. And the other thing that took me out of the moment is that my son's up there on the riser and he has some brat next to him who's uh, who's talking to him while the concert's going oh. on. And the kid, to the, next, the kid to the right of him maybe maybe said three lyrics the entire time for all 40 songs they were doing up on that stage. And I was pissed at that. And then I said, who's distracted. that kid? And, and he's the same kid that hit Michael in class Ooh. one time. And so it was, a, you know, to be honest, it was probably a little more tense. Ho, ho, ho. But here's the great news. Yes. 20 minutes from start to finish. Perfect Maybe line. A, yeah, 20 minutes. They take all the kids out. They say they ask the parents to remain seated. And here's the great thing about the great state of Florida. It is chill beyond chill. Parents come in. They sit wherever. Aww, it's nice. not that Tense. Northern Virginia thing. Thing yeah. yeah, you're where right. They will feed on you. They'll stab you in the ear to get their front row seat. There will be people there for hours yeah. that are sitting there it. to yeah. see some BS thing that's going to be over. And, you know, we did have the cameras and I still I don't yeah. do the camera thing. Mm-hmm. If Carla wants to get a quick shot, it's fun. I mean, you know, I'm not going to be around here for a long time. I want to be experiencing the moment. OK, I don't want everything documented. I just want to see my kid. I, a, uh, I do have a life Christmas hack outfit. for those parents out there, and I heard about this from uh, one of my neighbors. Okay, um, and 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 this isn't lazy parenting; it's just actually I think I thought it was smart. Okay, um, and to, to three houses down, you got a dad and mom, uh, and they're, they're super nice, and they just moved in the neighborhood. And one of the guys uh, works overseas All once right. in a while, and uh, I saw, hey, like where are you going? She's, oh, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna live stream uh, our kids' uh, Christmas uh, play, whatever they right. had. I said, live stream. She said, yeah, I'm just going to do it from the phone or, or FaceTime it. Uh, so maybe not live stream it. I'm going to FaceTime it for my husband who's in uh, in London or wherever in Europe he is. Okay. Um, and I said, should you just FaceTime and just hold the phone up like this right at your chest level? And she said, yeah. She goes, and I have a backup battery um, just in case my phone dies. That's cool. Like, how awesome is this world when you can do that and catch your kids play from around the world because you want to be a part awesome. of it? How awesome is the way that Mike will attend every other student function from this time <laughs> until he's in high school? <laughs> Thanks, Carla. Appreciate it. Thanks for the hack. That's great. And I have to smell nothing. That's right. You smell yourself. Yeah. <laughs> how, was your, how was your day? How was your day without showering? Uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Well, you didn't oh, we'll want to be break. late to the show. Oh, yeah. So nasty. Just enough to be like, oh, oh, it just doesn't stop. Thank you. Piss me off in case you couldn't tell. Uh, we'll take a break and we will come back with the news you may not need. You? I'm the Mike O'Mara you too? show, everybody. You got Let's it too? Show. My name is Matthew Ponyboy Bloom and I approve this message. Awkward. In this era of fake news, who is our best, most trusted source of entertainment? Yeah. Clearly not. We need Mike some new O'Mara. promo. Did you know? Okay. Delete sorry, that promo. Delete that promo. promo. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome back to the uh, Mike O'Mara show. Uh, uh, this segment of the program is brought to you by my good buddy, Joanna at Cornerstone yes. First Financial Woo! and Mark Livingstone and Emily and all the good people down there. Uh, by the way, Emily called, uh, Joanna called me yesterday mm. and said, hi, how's it all going? Mm. I, uh, I uh, heard through the show that you wanted me to call. I mean, no, Joanna, now I feel embarrassed. Okay? Yes. So now be. I'm simply going to tell you how wonderful they oh, are look at, at Cornerstone. Go. Uh, they would like to say thanks and Merry Christmas to the dozens of Mike O'Mara Show listeners who became Cornerstone customers this past year, including myself. I am a Cornerstone First Financial customer. Whether you closed mortgage loans, took advantage of Cornerstone's low-rate offers, you are appreciated. Uh, Joanna, by the way, the lady I deal with there, uh, Joanna is all over it for me. She yes. is on there. She lets me know. She's on everything. She knows what's going on. I really love that. But they want to say thank you. Uh, TMOS listeners are some of Cornerstone's favorite customers. Laid back, responsive, intelligent, savvy, and most of all, friendly. So, from the Cornerstone family to yours, have a wonderful holiday season and a Merry Christmas. And 
for all your mortgage lending needs. Please keep Cornerstone First Financial in mind. We love our long-term relationships with Cornerstone, and I can personally endorse them. They treat you right. Call 202-625-1221. That's 202-625-1221. Or check out the web, cornerstonefirst.com. Ask for Mark Livingstone at Cornerstone First Financial. And hello, Tater, Cornerstone First Financial. Personal attention from application to closing. Cheers from Cornerstone, ladies and gentlemen. News. News. Kevin Hart says he's about 65 to 75 percent recovered from his car accident, adding, quote, workouts are not full. I'm not lifting crazy weights, but I'm back to weighted workouts, agility, mobility, core work. Okay, Kevin, Kevin, you're a you're a comedian movie star. Okay, stop being the little guy that wants to show how crazy strong he is. Okay, Kevin. All right, this is the Joe Piscopo problem. All right? <laughs> Focus on the funny. Focus on the funny and not the fact that you're telling everybody, I don't mind you being buff and in shape and stuff. So, just don't talk about it. Uh, so he's his last part of this quote, he's uh, back to weighted workouts. I'm a little determined jackass. No, see, if you call yourself jackass, you're still promoting yourself and not in a comedic way. You're still being he- serious about saying how buff and... and cu- I'm sorry. This is what I don't like about mm. Kevin Hart. He's on a media blitz this week. He did two major talk shows yesterday. He's doing a lot of media. Did you hear what he said about the Oscars? No. He said he would. Oh, uh, it's going to be. You're going to play the thing. You're going to play uh, 10 days till 11 days till Christmas. No, I'm not days. actually. I'm going to play. His, he said, would he do the Oscars if asked? Look, I have nothing but love for the Academy. I always will. I think that, uh, you know, any conversation is always a good conversation. So TBD, TV determined. And that is, to me, even after worse. After all that drama. After all the oh. drama of something mm. that he wrecked for himself. Right. Coming out of right. a wreck. He's saying, oh, if they ask me, I'll consider it. Mm. Do you see how he shifted the, the storyline there? This guy, I, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm all for funny people that make, uh, you know, good movies. Right. Uh, Kevin got a lot of support from family and friends and Oprah, which he tells about. He said, I got a lot of flowers. You know, I was embracing everybody's flowers until Oprah sent me flowers, and then I realized that nobody loves me like Oprah. Oh, so I guess Oprah sent more flowers to you than anybody. Yeah, well, you know, she has the ability to Uh, cure. uh, (laughs) Here's his quote. We've honestly been waiting for them to die. There's an ongoing joke at our house. We're like, have the Oprah flowers died yet? And everybody's like, no, not today. (laughs) Ha, 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 not funny at all. A great life. You know what it might have been? It might have been (laughs) one of them. self-serving, man. I mean, really, start being funny. Douche. Might have been an edible. Sorry, I don't like that guy. I've never liked that guy. Mm. Oprah might have sent an edible arrangement. <laughs> I just, you hey, know what I mean? It's fruit yeah. keto. When you're doing, you're, right. you're not doing self deprecating and you're, you're doing, yes, what about keto? Is what? fruit keto? A uh, new. No. No, 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 a lot of carbs are new. Fruit no. is a new, new. But I mean, you, you know, moderation in all things. Okay. If it's sure. within your carbohydrate parameters, you can probably. Grab one, but I'm, uh, you know. Last night he had a half a bushel. He had a half a bushel of apples last night. (laughs) (laughs) Oh boy, Mm, you have no idea how how good that sounds. Isn't it weird? Because you know, normally an apple probably wouldn't send you, but the fact that you can't have it changes it. Darling, you send me. (laughs) Yeah, baby. Uh, Survivor has been on for so long uh, that fans have just seen about everything the show has to offer. This is the story where my wife said to me this morning, don't tell me, Mm. but I'll share it with you. So if you're like watching Survivor and you're really into it and you haven't seen it yet and this is going to ruin it for you, please turn it down because I'm telling a story about Survivor. Last night's episode was a genuine shocker. If you haven't seen it yet, this is a spoiler alert. Okay, I've done my job Uh, because a contestant was kicked off the show for inappropriate behavior. A uh, survivor first. This is the first time that's ever happened. Uh, You may remember that several weeks ago, Dan Spilo, who's a Hollywood talent manager in the real world, was cautioned for being a little too handsy with some of the women. Like Bill O'Reilly. The the issue was dealt with on screen, but the show also said that producers spoke to the cast off camera. And Dan was given a formal warning. Well, it didn't take. At the end of last night's episode, Jeff Probst visited the contestants to tell them that Dan had been removed from the game. Oh. Then the screen went back to black with text saying, quote, Dan was removed from the game after a report of another incident which happened off camera and did not involve a player. So far, there's no word on what happened, but Jeff did talk to Entertainment Weekly yesterday and said that, uh, quote, it has been an unprecedented season. 
Complex social issues were woven into the game in a way we have never seen before. Boy, is he? Is there a reason he's been on for a million? Dollars? Do you think it. they love him at the network? Of course they do you think spend. They, do you think he sits there and and trowels out anything they wanted mm. to say? The guy was a, a douche. He was probably handling people, and yeah. they didn't want him on. Uh, we have learned a lot, and it will inform our process moving forward. He added that Dan was not happy when he found out they were removing him from the game. Oh, crap. I can't fondle people anymore. Yeah. Uh, but after a long talk, he was, quote, very respectful on his way out. Yes, because he was probably threatened with Well, you know who yes. he fondled was John Dalton. <laughs> Johnny Fairplay Fair Dalton. Exactly. Yes, yes. Your personal friend. Still alive. Come on. <laughs> just a little. It was just a little cup. That's all. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but it was being Michael friendly. Vick. Uh, we've been talking about Michael Vick lately a lot. Uh, he's one of our four legends captains for the 2020 Pro Bowl. Uh, that's not sitting well with a lot of people. As you probably recall, he was busted in 2007 for running a vicious dog fighting ring. He served 18 months in prison, but he made his way back to the NFL in 2009 and played for seven more seasons. There are multiple petitions on change.org demanding the NFL remove him from the game. And one of them had more than half a million signatures uh, as of last night. Mm. Stay tuned for that. We'll see what happens. If you've got kids and you want to save time and money, there's a holiday hack called the four gift rule. I am on board before I start telling you this, that I am against this in any way, shape, or form. This is ruining what is fun, okay? Here's the four gift rule. A lot of parents swear by it. Basically, you just limit each kid to four gifts, but not just random gifts. You buy one thing they want, one thing they need, one thing they'll wear, and one they'll read. Mm. Isn't that perfect? Contrived. Contrived. It is. I bet it's loved by parents that don't shower before Christmas concerts. (laughs) Something they want could be a video game. Uh. I know what what want, need, read, and wear. You don't have to explain that to me. Anyone who's done it will tell you it saves a lot of money. Well, that's a bonus if you're not wanting to spend a lot. But how about... How about four things they want? Yeah. Okay. Save or the same amount. Just of money. one and not spoil them. Yeah. Uh, and if you really want to save money, said the man without children. If you I really agree. want to save money, spoil tell, them. It's Christmas. Tell the children that they just really weren't behaving their best, and there'll be no presents this year. And we're hoping yeah. we're hoping for twenty twenty. Mm. Yeah, bounce back. There will be no presents. There will be no. Uh, presents. Another idea is to coordinate with Santa so he can give your kids the gift they want. That way, they can still ask him for something. I Gross. just think they're overthinking Gross. it. I think, come on, it's fun for Christmas time. Hey, come Please. on, enjoy. Please. Yeah, uh, the people that came up, I'd like to meet the guy that came up with that. That's the same guy that invented shredded lettuce. All right, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Uh, what a career. A guy, a guy, I'm sorry Rob didn't tell that story at the Christmas party. A guy was uh, working. That's a story Rob and I tell together. Mm. A guy was working a uh, little something something now at a subway <laughs> in Las Cruces, New Mexico. This is a beautiful city. Mm. Around 7 p.m. on yes. Monday when a man and a woman in masks killed the power for the store, busted inside, threatened the guy, and robbed the place. Oh. Uh, but as they were yelling at him, the guy recognized one of their voices. It was his 22-year-old co-worker, Lorena Marine. Oh! Uh, <laughs> I feel like John Travolta saying that. That name. <laughs> Is Dilia Zamala. Adele Dazim. Adele Dazim. He called. Shredded Why lettuce. You remember that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he called the cops uh, and they tracked down Lorena and the guy she was with, a 19 year old named Angelo Espinosa. They admitted they'd robbed the subway. Yes. And the police say Lorena told them that she did it because, quote, she wanted to teach one of the employees a lesson about what could happen late at night in that part of town. Sure. Uh, Lorena and Angelo were both arrested for robbery. Lorena said also that she just snapped somewhere between making a bacon ranch melt and a sweet onion teriyaki. (laughs) And those wraps, those horrible (laughs) wraps. She was also uh, unable to bribe the arresting officers with an extra chocolate chip cookie. Thank you. Oh, (laughs) Oh, there we go. Oh, shredded lettuce. Three, three Subway. Generous with the jokes during the holidays. Thank you. Uh, We'll take a break, and we'll come back with the audio of Alton Rob Spiewak, who's staring at that big prize, Oscar. Mm. He's looking at that 850 bucks from both of us. Uh, Might ruin uh, Christmas if I win. Yes, it will. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll take a break and come. Can't back ruin my fun. Christmas because I'm going to get something I want, something I read, something <laughs> yes. I wear, yes. and something to hit Oscar with. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. 
You better watch out. Better Mike. Watch out. Oh, Mike. Talk truffle to me. It's <laughs> yeah. Angie with the Oh My God Show with the hottest trends in holiday beauty survival from truffle cream to feeling like you're strolling through a serene Japanese forest just by spraying mist on your face. Face. We also face, show face. you how to use your Christmas tree and holiday decorations to do your hair. Also, meal shaming at Thanksgiving dinner. It happened to me. You too can feel the love by subscribing to the Oh My God Show on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. You watch Welcome out. back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Zappos. Tis the season for internet shopping. All you need to do is lean back, relax, and visit Zappos. We love Zappos. Great yes. people, great culture. They're our partners, you know. When you uh, show Zappos the love, it's like loving TMOS. Mm. We mean that. And uh, we love love. And it ain't just shoes, baby. They got it all. Oh. Zappos is celebrating 20 years of the absolute best customer service and a selection that is better than a, an awkward handshake. Uh, thanks to over 1,000 trusted brand names, Zappos.com is able to help millions of customers create a long-lasting wardrobe they love. No matter what, get it at Zappos. Gifts for everyone, even yourself. Uh, we just ask that you support us both by accessing Zappos through our website. Just click the banner. As always, Zappos has fast free shipping, free and easy returns, 24-7 friendly customer service, and a 365-day return policy. Thank you, Zappos. You make us look good through the holidays and beyond. Let's open up the audio vault for today with Rob Spiewak. Take it away, Rob. Hey, Mike, how about a hug? Yeah, let's do it. I'll I'll give you a handshake. I'll take it. That's feeble. All right. um, Mm -hmm. Kansas. Lenexa, Kansas. And I have a question about Florida. In Florida, I imagine it's not as easy to get into the traditional Christmas spirit because of the warm weather. Do people still put up outside lights and stuff like that? Yeah, okay. in certain neighborhoods they do, and oh, uh, nice. certainly the communities all yes. are lit up, and uh, there's nothing prettier than a palm tree with uh, those little Italian lights. It's I do like love that. Corona the commercial. Italian lights, mm-hmm. the white lights, I love it. Twinkle lights. Twinkle <laughs> lights. So Twinkle lights. If you go to Lenexa, Kansas, they put up some lights, but the lady put her lights on her roof in the form of a 20-foot penis. Oh. She has actually made a penis out of Christmas lights, and the neighbors... Well, let's just say mixed emotions. Well, it looks like a <laughs> giant little. <laughs> well, it's certainly a statement. Probably not appropriate. The neighborhood's kind of like vibes kind of gone down because everyone's kind of uptight. So it's more of kind of an honoriness. A giant glowing. I don't know what I would have done if I would have driven. I probably would have wrecked my car laughing. People think it's hilarious. People are stopping in the middle of the night taking photos and laughing. People think it's so much fun. I think there's a lot more laughter than it's bringing out anything uncomfortable you know and i don't think it's appropriate for the kids sorry if this is actually really bothering people i'm just trying to make a laugh i think when i saw the display it's not so absolutely graphic as to what it's suggesting it's it's an, not, is it an outline sort of yeah okay. it's sort of it's not photorealistic these people that this are really the frank weird. of the bean <laughs> no uh so is <laughs> like there are franks and beans, beans. Frank said beans. <laughs> so Frank said beans. Hi, I've, Ted. Anyone who's <laughs> really bothered by it is looking to be bothered by it. That's the impression I get. Well, I mean, I'm not sure. If you don't, a, if you're a, a little a kid, you don't know kids. that's a penis. That's right. Mm-hmm. Could be a rocket. You're a little kid. Could be a rocket. It, it, it's just, I don't know. I don't get it. I it, saw it, and I saw, I, I certainly saw more awkward things at the be Christmas party a last night. Yeah, it could have been a mushroom. <laughs> could have been a sword. Mm. Maybe she's a Game of Thrones gal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Mike, happy National Dingling Day. When I was a little bitty boy, my grandmother bought me a cute little toy. Bought silver what? bells hanging on a string. <laughs> she told me it was my ding ling So do you know what National Dingling Day is? It doesn't no, have to I do don't. with the last story. It doesn't have to do with the roof? No, this has to do with you're supposed to on Dingling Day... Call someone that you haven't spoken to in a while. So you can renew an old friendship. I guess it's a holiday oriented thing. So like you could uh, call up like Chad Ram or something. Uh, yeah. What does dingling that, that, have to do with be that? Idea. Because when you give someone a call, it's a dingling on the phone. Oh, I didn't Make know that. The phone Who would be somebody you that. would call, Rob? Um, I would like to call... Um, a guy, you know who I would love to call? And I've actually tried to find him in the past I and I can't. I this would be a tough question for It's him. not. That's why I asked. Jimmy the intern. Jimmy Kessel. That used to intern on the uh, the old show. I've lost track of him, even in this day of social media. I'd love to talk with him and see what he's up to. Me too. Really? No. No. Oh. 
You're not a fan, and I can tell you why. No, I'm not a fan. I mean, I mean, I, I'm, I don't have any thoughts, whatever. Well, the last oh time God. we saw him is when we were at the uh, Super Bowl in San Diego, and you asked him to show you around the town, and he was totally ill prepared and unqualified. And you looked at me, and in, but I, I under your breath, no, under your breath, you said, "Ah, oh, damn it, he lives here. Can he do this?" Yeah, he. When it wasn't <laughs> showing us the town, it was more. It was not showing us the town. It was driving us. From point A to point <laughs> not, B, not great. which he was unsuccessful at, and he lived there. That's mm, right. Mm, mm, <laughs> that's what it was. That's the real story. Yeah. So you see how the underlings yeah, changed yeah, the yeah, narrative yeah. on uh -huh. that? That's what happens. Mm -hmm. No, he, he didn't I remember know where you to were go. I remember you were lost. dissatisfied. He got lost. Now you've reminded me he got lost in his own city. Zone town. Well, I would like to talk to him. So if he's within right. the sound of my voice, uh, send me you an know, email. Tell him I said hi. I didn't. I have no malice to the guy whatsoever. He, he was, was one fine. of the better interns we ever had. I think he was. Yes, excellent. he was. Jimmy, he was funny. He liked very him funny. Very I funny. That well about him. And he didn't have any pigment. He looked like powder. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, this is a Christmas video. We'll close with this. It's going viral. This is so funny because of the lady's reaction. The situation is this. She posted this on Facebook. She left a convenience store gas station, okay? And she saw a guy washing her windows, and she thought it was a lovely Christmas gesture. And she went up and gave the guy a big hug, only to realize he was washing his own windows. It wasn't her car. So she just went up to a stranger and hugged him and then immediately posted this video. This is so magical. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in your day, but unless you're hugging strangers in a gas station parking lot, you're probably doing pretty good. <laughs> <sighs> Yes, Michelle, I walked away from his car and got in my car and just shut the door and pretended nothing happened. And he was left <laughs> like that lady just she just hugged me and told me she loved humanity. But I'm pretty sure when he realized that my car was the same as his, <laughs> he figured it out. Anyways, I got to go. I'm going to throw up. She's going to throw up. Oh, and Mike, I just want to remind you, 13 oh, oh, days. Oh. See, he was going to play yeah, there. Yeah, you were going to play him. there. Yes, you no. were. Do you want me yes, to swear on my kid's life? No. I knew that you were going to say I was going to play it there. You've been troubled and I for the had whole to show today between Christmas the football picks and everything. Hold on, listen. I'm watching Only you. 13 I'm watching shopping you. days left. 13. 13 shopping days You need to embrace left. something. You were wrong. I wasn't oh, yeah. going to play it, but I knew yeah. you were going to say I was going to play it. I know that you know that I know that that's your magic audio vault. And have a great Thursday, everybody. I'll, I'll change the rules to the football game. I can. Oh. I will. I will. No, I That'll won't. be fun. No, I won't. It's the new rule is Mike though. wins. You just say you, you, you're not a good poker player. You really are. not uh, But anyway, you're like, please uh, don't, don't need to play change the rules. Don't need to play poker. I might win. <laughs> all or nothing, like all our other games. Oh, the last, the, 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 the Super Bowl. The, the Super Bowl is worth 500 games. 500. <laughs> Thirty thousand dollars to the winner oh, of the no. Super Bowl. Oh God! Uh, no, the the rule. The, it off the in thirty rules years. Stay hey, the same stay. as, as before. before. Uh, we will take a, our leave now. And, uh, and good day. And for Thank you, Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana. Pony Boy Bloom, Matty Matty Boy Mascow. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. What is that? Ah! No, Matty Matty handled herself with an amazing amount of grace today. And a plum. I, I think she should be saluted for that. I should stop talking now because the show's over. Uh, for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, this is Mike O'Mara saying, I lost the football pool. Bye, everybody. <laughs> So long, Matty boy. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Before you go, please make a mental note. Today's show was made possible by the TMOS bonus packages. You can secure yours right now by going to MikeOmeraShow.com and clicking on the red bonus banner. Buy it or give it. Either way, you're helping out TMOS, and that's a good thing. Thank you, and go in peace. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. All right. Everybody upstairs, get dressed. We are going out to eat. Oh, fudge.